Today I'm sharing a Torrid plus size try on haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Tamala, and here on this channel, we are all about style and confidence at any size. So if you like the video and you like what you see, then be sure to stick around and subscribe for more. We would love to have you guys join a part of our little family. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Like I said before, today I am going to be sharing a Torrid plus size try on haul. So if y'all are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. So so we are going to go ahead and jump right into the try on with the first piece which is this red tiered top and I am wearing it in a size 3 and it was $45.50 and the prices that I'm sharing are the full prices. I believe when I bought these they were like 30 to 40% off. Always, always, always shop with a coupon at Tour. They always have sales going on, mystery sales, all kinds of deals so I always wait to shop then but sometimes I just like to share like the regular prices with you guys so if they aren't still on sale. But I do think at the time I'm filming this, which this video will go up on Friday, I think there is a sale going on, so you might just want to check for that. I'll have it down in the description box if there is, but I digress a lot. The red deer top. I love this top. Not only is the color just absolutely stunning, like, I mean, just stunning, but I love the fit of it. It's so flattering. When I, when I do these try-ons, I usually talk to myself in the camera while I do the try-on portion and then come back and kind of write it in notes and talk about it here. And when I put it on, I was like, this just makes me feel pretty. Pretty. Like, have you ever put on a top that just makes you feel pretty? Like, th those are those tops for me. And I feel like it's because that baby doll style um, is so flattering on everyone. I will say sometimes I don't like it because sometimes I feel like the line, the first line kind of comes up to an awkward spot on me. So it just depends on where that first line falls. But typically, when you get that tier detail in there, it just looks so good on just about every single body type. So between the cut and the color, the shirt is just it's fabulous I love it it is long enough to in the back to wear with leggings if that's something you'd want to do there and I also think it would be a great piece for layering as we get farther into the fall and into the winter months and the material it is on the thinner side because it's that um that light sort of gauzy material which I really like because again I like to use those kind of materials to layer with or to just I just it doesn't get very cold here so I don't really need anything too crazy thick but the one thing I will say about that gauzy material is it wrinkles so so easily I wore this shirt on my birthday literally anytime I breathed the wrong direction the shirt was wrinkled I mean like anytime I sat down I stood up it was like so wrinkled so that's my only qualm but that's more of like a material qualm and less about the shirt but the fit the color everything I just I loved it next I am sharing this camo interact jacket and it was $79.50 and I'm wearing it in a size 3 if you remember a couple of videos back I will link it above and down below if you guys haven't seen it yet but it was my Old Navy try on haul and I shared a very similar jacket from Old Navy but it was a more muted camo whereas this one is definitely more like a true toned colored camo but I love like anorak utility like those style jackets I love 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 them for the fall and winter I think they are the perfect layering piece the one thing I will say I have a lot of good things to say about the jacket we'll get to that in a minute but the one thing that I will say is exactly why I am personally returning this jacket that's something that I cannot stand cannot stand it the pockets are not functional why 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 our jean pockets are already not functional why are we having pockets and jackets that are not functional Biggest pet peeve in the world. I like pockets. I have a lot of things. I typically don't carry a purse, so I like pockets. It very much bothers me. Not only when my jeans don't have pockets, but now we're having fake pockets on jackets. Because especially you like those utility style, they have great pockets. Like I'm in it for the pockets. <laughs> they have great pockets. And when I, I, my dismay, when I tried to like open the pocket and it was fake, I was like, for real, really? So that that's the, I, I can't do it. I cannot do it. But if you can move past that, I'm a grudge holder, I cannot. If you can move past that though, it's a very soft material. It's a little bit more, I don't know what the word will be, malleable than what I think a typical like utility style jacket is because I feel like they are on the more like sturdier side, if that makes sense. They're not like, I don't know why crunchy's coming by. It's not like crunchy, but they're usually a little bit more sturdier. This one is a little bit more free flowing and a very soft and warm material. And this one does have that inner cinching. So like I said, it's great when they have the cinching because it gives you a little bit of shape, whereas those jackets are typically um, pretty shapeless. They don't give, they don't help a lot in that department. But these ones on the inside, instead of having like those drawstring ones, they are like tied like kind of like a shoelace. So yeah, pros and cons. Like I said, I think it's a great jacket. I love the color. I love the fit of it. I love everything about it except that the dang pockets are fake. I just, I was so, I was like, are you, what are we doing? 
Next we have this plaid blazer and I'm wearing it in a size 3 and it was $69.50 and this is an absolute must have for fall. You guys know I love me a good blazer. Blazers are overlooked. I love a good blazer. But this one I love first of all the colors in it are perfect but I think it's going to look so pretty in fall. And this one has it has like a black it has the white it has like a lighter blushy tone in it it has like a more burgundy tone in it. This is going to be so perfect for pairing with so many different things. You have the opportunity to really play around with this and dress it up and dress it down and do all the things with and that is the key when you're adding pieces to your closet is those versatile pieces that you're going to be able to do a lot of things with and for me this blazer is it. When I got it I was like oh yes perfect 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 could have never asked for anything better because I'm not a huge plaid lover I have some plaid things but they're they're pretty festive I'm not like a super into plaid kind of a person but I keep seeing like the similar style of blazer being styled and I was like kind of need that so once I saw this one from Torrid I had to snag it next I have this sage baby doll top to share with you guys and it was $45.50 and I'm wearing it in a size 3 and I love the color of this I love that sage green color you guys know it is one of my favorite ones I just think it's just such a pretty and light and airy color and it's a really great like simple everyday top but also has a little bit of detail to it here you have that sort of embroidered situation going on and then you also have the flutter sleeve detail which again is another thing that I love but material on it is super soft and flowy and light and airy and all of the fun things but it's clingy and to me there are two different types of clingy so it's not the clingy where it feels clingy but it's the clingy where it shows very clingy so while it may fit me really well and I really love it it should be I have this is my little rolls right here okay they're right here they're like they're not they're not my favorite thing in the world and when I put that top on I was like Hey guys, like I, I don't love that. <laughs> so when a shirt's like super, like I don't like, I don't, it's just not my thing. And that's just because that, that's that's my personal preference. I don't love it. I don't love it. It's clingy, kind of like just right here in this section. I'm like, we can't. I don't want to do that. Um, but if that's not a troubled area for you, if you don't mind it fitting a little differently, because I don't want to say that it feels clingy, because it really doesn't. It's just a little. It shows the lumps and bumps a little bit more. That really is truly what it is. Because of that thinner fabric, it just does show the lumps and bumps a little bit more. So that's something that you don't mind. You would probably love this. But for me, it's something that I don't really love on my body. I didn't love the way that it looked. I love the top in general. I just didn't love the way that it looked on me per se. Um, just because of that. But it does have that really nice, like I said, baby doll sort of a detail. And I think the baby doll tops are a pretty universal top. And they look really great on everybody. So that's something to keep in mind. Plus, I do love that kind of embroidered neckline that it has. Because I think it would be perfect for Larry, like underneath the jacket because you would see the embroidery and it would be perfect but just for my prefer preferences um it just wasn't my favorite and then last but certainly not least I am sharing this cropped denim jacket and it was $69.50 and I'm wearing it in a size 3x and let me tell you girl Torrid has the absolute best denim jackets like hands down never found a better denim jacket like they have the stretchiest ones that fit the best if you have bigger arms like myself that's something I definitely struggle with when buying jackets of any kind it's really something that I have to be mindful of but their jackets are so stretchy all the way around like they're denim I mean all of their jackets but particularly their denim jackets they do a phenomenal job at plus size denim jackets the bodice is stretchy the arms are stretchy I'm talking about from point A to point to point B all the way to the bottom of your arm the whole thing is stretchy and that is so important to me because I hate feeling constricted in a jacket oh it bothers me so much so when I get a denim jacket and though it may fit it just is so dang stiff that I, I feel like I'm literally in a straight jacket can't do it not a thing I can uh, no. it like I'm like I hate it gotta take it off but the I'm pointing over I keep doing that it's over there but you can't see that so it doesn't matter I digress they're my favorite so I just really wanted to kind of stress that point because they do have the best denim jackets which Torrid is in my ultimate plus size shopping guide if you guys have not checked that out yet I'll link it down below in the description box it's like a workbook of all of my favorite plus size retailers and it's, it's, it's in there for a reason they have some pretty great stuff so I digress off of how great the denim jackets are I like this one but it's just not my style which is why I got it I really do try to like I said go out of my comfort zone a little bit in some of these videos and I'm not a cropped jacket kind of gal I don't know why I just don't really I don't love it and I'm not really a dark denim jacket lover I love a good like lighter wash um 
like distressed trucker style jacket which is another kind of style that I have from Jordan but anyway I thought I would give the dark denim a little bit of a try it is almost it's not distressed but it almost has a little bit of a distressed washing to it as you can see in the video but dark denim is a great thing to have though I don't like I said I this which is really funny I tend to not like super light denim on my body but I love it in a jacket that's weird but I love light denim to wear but sometimes dark denim is something that you should have in terms of your jacket because it's going to really be easy to dress that up so if you want to add a denim jacket but also keep the look a little more upscale um, you want to go for a little bit more of a darker denim for that so that is going to be it for my Torrid plus size try on haul guys thank y'all so so much for watching and as always be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which piece was y'all's favorite and also be sure to check down below in the description box for the free download of my ultimate plus size shopping guide and I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Like I'm better off.